So I decided to lump these chapters together and analyze these together, which I don't know why, but I thought, why not? Horikoshi has been masterly crafting these chapters, building off this war arc, the, this aftermath of the war arc. But first, I'll talk about chapter 299. Chapter 299 was about Hawks and his past, and his goals moving forward. We get to see what Hawks' child, childhood his, in his past was like, which was abusive and sheltered with a criminal's parent. Where at the first panel, we were told that Hawks as a child had no hero, no role model, as they were a mere fantasy only seen on TV. His father was a criminal who was so paranoid he didn't let his wife or son out of, of, his, of this little check and, and says he wished that Hawks was never born. One day, the father gets caught, which leaves him and his mother to live by themselves, and the hero who caught him was the exact same one he looks up to and has a plush for. Hawks before this didn't think heroes were real, and they were a fiction, as they hadn't, hadn't saved him. He was still stuck there, in this pit of despair, where he couldn't let out his, let out his emotions, but could only hold him in, and to, to appease his mother and father. But with this... But, but with his father, the main source of his abuse gone, and captured by an actual hero, felt like he was saved. To me, this draws a parallel to Chigaraki, who wasn't saved and was sheltered in somewhat abuse as well. Someone who adored heroes but never got that extended hand was outcasted and ignored. Hawks, inspired by these heroes who were real and, and did good deeds, decided he wanted to do the right thing to help his mother, who wasn't as skilled as his father and didn't have the skill set to keep afloat. Hawks and his mother are told they have to cut ties with ties it to Kemi and live brand new lives, taking in Hawks to become a valuable weapon for heroes in the government. Hawks wakes up from this flashback, and we see him in the state of incapable speech with a mask, only, only able to communicate by text. We get some context on how best Genus is alive after being, being as it seems killed. Again, an explanation by Hawks, which basically says he, that they produce a death-like state of best genus, where he was basically asleep until the war started, and this, the technique was inspired by the Nobu. Genus pulls up and detains some criminals, and we read that cops and heroes aren't coming as they all, are all busy with the escaped criminals from the prison, showing that the social construct of society is deteriorating and villains have been laying low, and that the villains have been laying low have been rising up and reverting back to how things were before the time of All Might, before the time of the symbol of peace, showing just how much All Might meant to society, and with Endeavor being revealed as the man who beated his children, and this basically a villain. It's worth showing just how fragile the, the, how fragile society is, and how without the symbol of peace, everyone has put their face, faith in over the years, and relied on is gone, that man to replace this symbol of peace is this evil man who, whose son is a villain. People can't trust an image like that. Which then leads to All Might, to what All Might fought so hard against and fought for. And evil is rising up, once again, ruling over Japan. Civilians have taken it upon themselves to protect themselves, which they, don't, which they didn't need to do before. Since they had heroes to rely on, and we see a store worker saying, who needs heroes anyways? Hiding away a tool. He was most likely going to use on the villains that were in the street. We even get a prime example of the people not believing in heroes, with a panel of people mean mugging Best Genius and others cheering him on, showing just how split society is. Hawks, <coughs> Hawks and Best Genius arrive at Hawks' house, and Hawks calls out, out for his mom, asking where she is. Basically, basically, fine. Basically, Calling out where she is and finds and reads the letter, seeing that th some thugs barged into, her, barged into her home, and she had to tell him about his past. She the Hawks severed ties with his name. Hawks says that the racing that the, the Takemi name already severed ties between them, and he was fine with it, even not saving, even not even okay with not saving his own mother. He's, he states that he was just a guy who wanted to help people. Even as a kid sneaking out, sensing danger, and trying to be a, be the hero we saw on TV. The safety commission is shut down and no one can issue orders to Hawks or any of the heroes. So the whole hero society and organization is in shambles because of this fact. Hawks takes off his mask and says he's free of his shackles of being a government weapon. 
who specially trained to become one of the best heroes. Hux gives Janus a speech about how when someone or something is back into a corner, is truly free and show their true nature, saying that's why he thinks Mubai Gawa, Gawara is a decent guy who is desperate to be helpful, saying he feels the same way and we see him as a kid, saving people from a car accident with those wings he was questioned for having. He disregards all, all claims towards it, Endeavor, saying he knows that things are different now and there's a lot to clean up, saying Endeavor's in trouble. What he's basically saying is that he wants to help his idol, but he's got to clear up his own origin and, ever, and Endeavor must undergo this Endeavor to clear his name and rebuild the hero society. This chapter overall was great and wonderful setting up yet another Tot- Todoroki family arc. This will be essential to the Shoto, Endeavor, and the whole entire hero society. Now, let's turn our attention to chapter 300. Ch- this chapter opens up with dialogue ex- of explaining what's happening around the city, cities, and society. High class areas who depend and expect heroes to protect them, and the fall of these heroes has sent them into a panic. People haven't had the time to process and digest the, the breakouts of these high class villains, and this platoon of villains have worsened the crisis. All these factors, a huge war breaking out, villains ruling the streets, and now the public knowledge of numbers have caused society not trust in heroes anymore. The sightings have been occurring, but it now exploded out of control. The, the idea of non-human aliens running around and the unknowing of these creatures, when they will appear, etc., chips away at society's consciousness. The idea of having the government and the heroes hiding stuff from them. We see a visual representation in two panels, a stable cup and a shattered cup. Showing what society was like before, calm and stable, to bursting with anger and confusion. The text adds to this context. We see a group of villains attempt to rob a diner. We see a villain with his support item to attempt to fight back. We have also seen a story of tuck away support item in the last chapter. Civilians have, have now taken it upon themselves to protect the city as they realize heroes won't do it for them and won't protect them. Civilians have been getting these weapons from markets to protect themselves from the overwhelming villains and, and to protect their shops. We see the same diner destroyed with bodies laid all around the place. These, these civilians and villains fighting have, has resulted in mass property damage and death. There are now, these are now a common thing and there is now war in the streets with heroes being understaffed or there being none left. We see, we see civilians complain about having to stay indoors and recall the destruction of these battles, which are not and cannot be detained, contained. Heroes begin to thin out with a top ten hero fo- resigning, followed by many more resignations. We see a panel of, of an All Might statue with the sign, I am not here, over his shoulders, with the meaning of the word hero slowly turning into, th- into a thing of the past. We now see the long-awaited Stain return with him, running and getting a sword. When all these problems and concerns arise, there is only one man you can put the blame on, the number one hero. Endeavor is sitting in a hospital bed, and he's reflecting on the final moments of the battle, saying how, ho- how hopeless and useless he was when he, find out, when he found out Dobby was his son and that he cast it out, that he abused. Now his youngest son was in danger, which could which he could die if not rescued or assisted, and Endeavor was frozen. Endeavor is remembering all the things Dobby said to the country about him and his past deeds. He makes the point that he himself may be able to live but Endeavor, the hero people look up to, to the people, to the hero people rely on. The hero that's supposed to replace the symbol of peace is dead on that battlefield. He says that his son's a mass murderer, so he, so he, so he should stop him. But that's his son. He can't take that. He can't take that step to confront his son, con- confront his son and stop him. Shoto walks in on him crying, and his family wa- walks through the door. And the rest asks his kids if they are, if they are okay. And Natsuo asks why he's crying with disgust all over his face. He never apologizes over and over again that he didn't realize those, that those regrets and guilt didn't matter as, as it was too late. He says his heart. He says his heart and stutters, but 
gets cut off by Ray, the children's mother, his own wife, who, had, who he had mistreated and abused for, for years, and asks about, and, and asks what about his heart. He says that that they have bared all that guilt and all those regrets much more than he has. He he has himself, yet he himself has caught a sliver. He has only dealt with a fraction of what he is feeling of all those sin, all, all all those sins he is now feeling. The rest of the Todoroki family has dealt with these scars for much longer, as they were the subjects of his abuse. Deborah has a shocked look on his face, asking Ray why she was she's there. As Ray's been stuck in a hospital room for years, she then announces she's here to talk about family and Toya, and that's where the chapter ends. Overall, a really great chapter and shows and uh, shows Endeavor being so vulnerable leaves so much room for development for the Todoroki family. The next chapter, it's Valentine's Day, so I'll be patiently waiting. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. I put a lot of effort into writing this script, and it's taken me a full day because I had to read it and give my full because I had to read the chapters over and over again to give full analysis, which I've never done because I usually just give a rundown what happened in the chapter, but I really like how it, I went about this script and I'm proud of it. Leave your thoughts about this about the chapter down below and get a good night's rest and I'll talk to you guys later.